All right, welcome um, to my little world. It's a kind of a scary place. Power tools, cameras, unpaid bills. Anyway, um, I got fascinated with uh, toy camera, um, toy cameras and digital <laughs> quite a while ago when I got it right here, made my Holga digital modification, hogging out a big hole in the back of the, um, the Holga and putting an Imacon Express 96 digital back on there. As far as I know, it's the first recorded photograph by a digitally modified, digitally enabled Holga in history. <laughs> um, so I started messing around with it, and um, the first toy camera that I messed with was, I, I called it the uh, Barbie cam. It was, um, it was a plastic Barbie, um, it was a plastic lens from a Barbie movie projector, so I messed with that a bit. have some pictures of that, I can show you. Um, but I just found this camera. It's kind of disassembled, unfortunately, <laughs> but this is the Univex Model A. It's supposed to look like this. This goes like that. Um, and um, this is a nice little uh, Bakelite camera with a glass lens, tiny little lens, and a, and a 35 millimeter format. Uh, but you can do almost anything. You can. This is my first camera, my Instamatic. You can mess with that. You just got to take the lens out and mount it to a lens cap, uh, or a body cap rather. Body caps generally are to protect the body um, of the camera when there's no lens on it. You can drill it out. Uh, I've made pinhole body caps, which uh, are on, on YouTube showing you how to do that. But um, this is a, uh, a little demonstration on how to take a, uh, take a toy camera and, uh, and use it to make nice blurry pictures. Have fun. So this little gem is our inspiration. But the cool part is it has a little screw right there. When you undo that screw, the entire front plate comes out and I can get at this lens. And that's a nice little glass lens. Here's the guts of the camera. It, it, and, and the interesting thing is it, this is it seems like it's almost a 35 millimeter frame. It may be a full 35 millimeter frame. You can see inside the lens, and uh, you may be able to see the back of the screw. But there's just a simple little retaining ring that holds the glass in. So I'm just going to undo that screw, pull the glass out, and use that for my um, my digital lens. One of the things I have to make sure of is I have to measure this distance, which is the distance from the sort of the center of the lens to the film plane. So I want to focus, I want to run it at about the same distance on my <clears throat> digital camera. So I'm going to be running this on, initially I'm going to be running it on a Nikon 5000, D5000, but then I'm probably going to adapt it and use it for, um, for a uh, Canon 5D Mark II. Since it's a full frame 35 millimeter chip, it'll be interesting to see what that does. So, but I've measured this and it's one inch and seven eighths. So I've got to space this <clears throat> from the lens to the film plane. It's got to sit at about one inch and seven eighths, and it should be fine. What I'm going to be doing, I, I I've measured this out on the Nikon D5000, and I have some extra room. The lens is going to want to sit about here. So I've actually grabbed one of these energy drink things. Took a sip of it. It tastes like crap. Um, but what I'm going to actually do is cut it off here. Since this is opaque, I picked it because it was opaque. Um, I'm going to cut it off here, and I'm going to drill a hole in the cap. And then that will actually allow me to focus the lens by screwing it in and out. Okay, with um, pointed avoidance of showing you power tool use, I mean, that's one ugly hole. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, anyway, I, I, I use this big drill and I handheld the thing, and it's just like, you know, 
it's probably not the best way to do it. If you have a drill press, put it in the drill press. So there's that. That's ready Here's to go. Here's the bottle cap part. And then this is the other part. This is the part that uh, is going to provide the focus threads. So I got my crazy glue. I'm just going to put a little crazy glue around the edges here. Try not to stick my fingers to it. And I'm just going to place this so it's relatively centered. And you know this ain't this ain't rocket science, so I'm not too concerned about whether it's dead on center. I was here's my here's my cap. I've drilled a hole in it. Um, there's a gasket on the <clears throat> back side that's actually fused in there. So if I don't want it white, what I'll do is just use a sharpie to make it black. So this um, screws onto here. See it's off center, and then I'll um, put the lens onto there, and I'll be able to focus the lens. There it is. This was like that. All right. Uh, this screw was holding it all together. I just took that screw out. This came forward. This retainer in the back, right in there. Can you see that? <clears throat> that retainer was holding the lens in, and um, there's my lens. So here's my lens, and um, or there's my lens mount, and there's my lens. And uh, I can just sit that right on top of there. And what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to tape that in place. I don't want to really crazy glue it at this point, because... Not sure exactly how it's going to match up, how the distance is going to work, how the focus is going to work. Right now, I'm going to tape it together and uh, put it on the camera and take some shots with it. So, as as luck would have it, um, after running my little tests and doing all this work, I, you know, I had this uh, this spacer set up very nicely so I could focus, and um, I got very very close up focusing. I mean, we were focusing it probably. Uh, six inches, as you can see from the from the sample shot. So um, I pulled the whole thing apart and uh, oops, took the lens and just taped it onto the to the front, and it focuses at distance nicely, which uh, is something I kind of like. The Barbie cam lens, I couldn't get it any closer, so I couldn't focus any further away. But this will work well, and uh, so you can see it taped into place. I'm just going to crazy glue it. Um, into place and uh, we'll be in good shape. There's the final product right there. Um, just drop, put four, four drops of crazy glue to put it in there. and You'll notice this is a uh, different body cap than the one I hogged out with that <laughs> drill. Um, so this is actually a body cap I had lying around that I was using for the Barbie cam so I just pulled the Barbie cam lens out. So we'll uh, go out and take some pictures with it see how it looks. So this is the result of my first attempt with the extension. This is the uh, my infamous test wall. And here are some sample shots. Here's the effect of uh, some intentional flare, which I love. Now we're moving into some of the um, some of my Barbie cam picture pictures just to show you what the Barbie cam was doing. Uh, this was set up to focus a little bit closer than the um, than the uh, Univex lens. And there you have it.